Good evening. Uh, welcome to our Carols and Candles. As you'll be aware, this was supposed to be an outdoor event, but we took a decision this morning that because it was so wild, we were going to move indoors. It has calmed a little out there, but we are warm and cosy in here, um, and thank you for coming out and joining us. We're going to do lots of singing of carols, uh, one or two readings and prayers in between, um, and share together on this really special time of the year. Uh, we are recording the event, so it may well appear at some point on, the, on YouTube and Facebook, but we're not absolutely sure about that, but just to let you know that that is the case. Um, you'll be aware that we have lots of Christmas trees in church. It was our Christmas tree festival a couple of weeks ago. Um, at the end, do enjoy having a look at the trees. There are some yellow sheets in the entrance that tell you about all the trees. Um, when we had the Christmas Street Festival, we were raising money for Macmillan and for our building development projects at Westland Street. Um, if you want to make a donation, you're very welcome. There are some bowls at the back, but there's absolutely no pressure. And while I'm doing my little selling bit, I'm told the music that you've just been enjoying when you came in is from our recently published um, CD, 12 Songs of Christmas. They are available from Jonathan um, at the end of the service if you're interested in buying more. That would be a lovely thing just to play while you're having your Christmas dinner tomorrow. Um, we will have some drinks at the end, we're having those in here, we're warm and uh, it'll give you a chance to have a look around the, the trees and things, so just stay around at the end and there'll be some drinks and refreshments. Um, there will be a point in the service where we'll be lighting candles and, and lighting each other's candles, just my little health and safety, just be a little bit careful uh, while we're doing that, you're responsible for yourselves um, and if you're a child be responsible for the adults around you, please. <laughs> I think that's all that I need to say at the beginning. And there's one more thing I need to say is that tomorrow there will be a service at our Westmoreland Street site at 10 o'clock in the morning, a celebratory service. This is the night of wonder. This is the night of anticipation. This is the night of mystery and marvellous joy. This is the night of celebration. Come, let us worship the baby born, Emmanuel. The baby born for you and me. The baby born this night for all. Come, let us worship God. We sing our first carols, O come all ye faithful, and away in the manger.
We turn to God in prayer. Tonight we gather together. We come to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We're excited about tomorrow. We are ready to welcome the baby Jesus into our world. We want to say thank you, God, for sending Jesus into the world to show us how much you love us. We also want to remember those who are finding life tough, the sad and lonely, the ill and anxious, the homeless and the hungry, those living with violence and uncertainty, so many who are struggling in our world at the moment. May they know your peace and presence, and may we reach out in love to those in need. Amen. We sing our next carol, Born in the Night. We'll remain seated as we sing this carol. <laughs> thinking this evening about light and darkness and we have a reading which is called it was dark it was dark really dark like completely dark totally dark couldn't see your hand in front of your face dark so it was really really dark next minute it was tons of light like mega lights bright like you've never experienced before Needing sunglasses light. Light that burned into your eyes. And left after images. It was caused by angels. Real angels. Dressed in white and wearing halos angels. Wings that beat with gold flashes angels. Angels that just appeared in one instant in the darkness. And exploded in waves across the sky. But they weren't silent angels. Oh no. They sang like Metallica angels. <laughs> big voices that roared as they sang angels. A big noisy word that filled the sky with noise angels. A great big word sung together angels. Hallelujah! The shepherds, they just stood there. Like totally still shepherds. Statue-like shepherds. With jaws open shepherds. Catching flies, shepherds. <laughs> shepherds who have never seen anything like it before. Suddenly, the song changed. Like totally changed. The angel's song morphed into an angel's shout. 
Voices rising to a new level, Angel shouts. All joining in together, Angel shouts. Like a complete choral reading. The song of Alleluia became the shout of peace. For the entire earth, peace. To completely everyone, peace. Total peace. To the whole world, peace. Peace takes over peace. Jesus is born, they shouted. Like straight out, they shouted. Jesus is born, go and see him. Too right, let's go to Bethlehem right now. And see this thing that has happened, the shepherd shouted. And as they shouted, off they went. Right then, to the stable. So that Bethlehem round the back of the inn stable. In a world that was very unstable. And saw there the one thing that brought stability. A life in a manger. So let us stay close and let him stay in us. We sing while shepherds watched and then see him lying on a bed of straw. We'll stand to see.
and dark, I thought I would just share a few interesting facts about light. One of them is I'm discovering it's quite difficult to keep a candle going in a very drafty church, but anyway, <laughs> it's going at the moment. So some interesting facts. Light is made up of energy and always travels in a straight line. The speed of light is exactly 299,792 kilometers per second. I think that's quite fast. Travelling at the speed of light, you could go around the Earth seven and a half times in a second. Wow. Okay. When you say to somebody that you'll be somewhere in a jiffy, anybody ever say that? I'll be there in a jiffy. You're actually referring to an existing unit of measurement. A jiffy is the time it takes for light to travel one centimetre in a vacuum. You heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if you ever find yourself with a tickle in your nose when you look at a bright light and it makes you sneeze. Anybody ever have that experience? Some of us do. We are particular people. I do. Okay. The phenomenon is known as the photic sneeze reflex and it means that we have some crossed wires in our brain. Okay. <laughs> In countries such as Japan and Scotland, the streetlights switch to blue at night. It's actually resulted in lower cases of crime and better mental health. The theory is that blue light has a calming effect on human beings. And the last fact which I really liked. Scientists are working on extracting bioluminescence, which occurs, occurs naturally in certain creatures, some jellyfish, some fireflies, and makes them glow and emit light. If they're successful, they are trying to develop bioluminescent trees that would provide light without any energy and could replace street lights. How amazing would that be? Well, light is amazing, isn't it? Light can guide us and bring us comforts. Light can make us feel safe and improve our well-being. Perhaps it's no surprise that, that we use the phrase to describe Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus who offers hope and reassurance, who brings peace and love and hope, who transforms and makes a difference. In John chapter 1, it speaks about Jesus being the light and it says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. In a Lutheran church in Bethlehem at the moment, they have a nativity scene which is very different from the one we have in our church. They have a pile of rubble with a baby in the middle of it representing all those children who are being affected by the ongoing conflict in Gaza and Israel which is very much in our prayers at the moment. But even next to that baby in that church amidst that rubble, they have placed a candle as a reminder that even in the most troubled places and at the most troubled times, there is still hope. A lighted candle, a powerful reminder that even in the darkest times, even in the most difficult times, there is always hope. And that hope comes in a child born into our world to bring light, life and love. Amen. We're going to sing two carols now. The first one I think will be new to quite a lot of people. So we'll just remain seated. You can join in or you can just enjoy listening to it. It's called I Had a Dream. And then the second one is Heart the Herald Angels Sing. While we're singing Heart the Herald Angels Sing, we will come round and with some candles and holders, take one of each, so we'll be ready to light those in due course. So I have a dream, and then Heart the Herald.
push your candle through the holder, that will just keep the wax uh, from dipping onto you or anything else. So when we come to light our candles, if you just stay where you are and um, I will light mine from here and bring it to the front and then we'll, we'll pass the light um, back um, between us and pass it right around the church. At some point the lights will go off, um, so just be aware of that. There will be plenty of light from the candles and from the screen so that we know what we're doing. There's a saying, it's better to light a candle in the dark than to curse the darkness. It's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. A candle in a dark place can make such a difference and bring light and hope. And this evening we light our candles as signs of hope in our worlds. We're aware there's lots of challenges in our world at the moment. It's a challenging and difficult place. Yet there's still hope. And that hope comes in a child come to be the light of the world. So we're going to light our candles, be reminded about the way in which the love of God can light up our lives, our homes, our communities, our world, and that nothing can overcome that light. In the old days, before people had mobile phones and uh, all those sort of things, glow sticks, candles might have been the thing that they used at uh, an event to show solidarity and show that light. Well, we can do that tonight. We don't need any electronic devices. We've just got these simple candles that are going to, we're going to hold up as we sing our last hymn that remind us of that sense of hope in the world. So let's hold our candles up and we're going to sing Silent Night. You can stand to sing, I think, but we'll hold it.
prayers be like lights shining in dark places. May the love of God fill our hearts and our homes with light this Christmas. And may God bless our world with peace. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Trinity St Andrew's Church, I wish you all a very peaceful Christmas and a hopeful New Year. And I think we're going to bless each other as we sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Keep your light things burning if you want, but you can blow them out if you feel more comfortable. Okay.